Hi, I'm Henrik Mortensson. I'm going to talk about the chain theory. The chain theory is at the heart of the theory of constraints management philosophy. The management model most companies use is called scientific management. If your company tries to make everyone be as productive as possible all the time, makes departments responsible for functions rather than workflows, uses cost accounting for decision support, focuses more on saving money than making money, then you have a scientific management organization. What is wrong with that? Well, nothing really, except that you are losing money. Think about how your business works. You advertise your products or services, and customers get interested and contact your salespeople. If you are a contractor, your development team gets busy. If you are in retail or manufacturing, the customer probably buys from your stock, or you might make to order just like a contractor. The process of manufacturing and selling is a complex chain of tasks that must be done in the right order. Usually different people perform different tasks. It's really a bit more complicated. Many tasks depend on some tasks that also must be performed in, in the right order and be ready at the right time. Subtasks have their own subtasks. It can get messy. To ensure maximum cost effectiveness, you really need to keep people busy. If anyone goofs off, the whole schedule may break apart. But wait a minute. We have lots of different tasks performed by lots of different people. Everyone can't be working at the same speed all the time. Let's look at one of the stages in the process and see what happens. Tasks arrive, they are processed, and then they are sent off to the next stage. Suppose the previous stage is a little bit faster. Work will begin to pile up. Increasing the speed of the preceding stage will not help the system as a whole. Suppose the following stage is faster. It will be starved for work. Someone will lose their job in the next round of cost cutting. People aren't stupid. All they can do to safeguard their job is to slow down. We end up with big piles of partially finished work everywhere. Consider what happens when a task moves from stage to stage. It must spend most of the time in the system waiting in queues. Typically, you get less than 1% processing time. The rest is just waste. The problem with scientific management is that it assumes every function is independent from every other function. There is no concept of a system. How do you fix the problem? The chain model offers a solution. At any given time, one of the process stages must be slower than all the others. Find that stage. Let the slowest stage determine how fast new tasks are released into the system. Protect the slowest stage, called the system constraint, with a buffer. This way, the constraint can be kept working even if the previous stages should slow down or stop temporarily. Add capacity to the constraint until it ceases to be the constraint. Now some other stage will be the new constraint, so you start over again. Even in a very complex system, there will be only a few stages you need to focus on. It is not just okay, but a good thing to run the rest of the system at less than peak capacity. In addition to the chain theory, the theory of constraints has several tools that make management easy and effective. The talk focusing process will help you focus on the things that will benefit your organization the most. It helps you avoid wa wasting time and energy on things that won't improve the organization as a whole. Drum buffer rope is a scheduling system. You have seen part of it in this presentation. Throughput accounting is a management accounting system. It avoids the pitfalls created by scientific management. The talk thinking process is a system for identifying constraints and making management decisions based on logic. Using the talk thinking process is a bit like having your own Vulcan advisor minus the pointy ears. Critical chain project management is a very effective system for project scheduling.
visit me at www.henrikmartensson.org to find out more.